Good morning. It's Sunday morning. Uh, it's like just gone past six o'clock, so it's not too bad. Um, we woke up slightly earlier this morning, just because of the. Uh, we want to get as much as to today as we can, and also we're gonna go and try and find this deer. Um, I was dreaming about it last night, over and over again. So, see what happens. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. <laughs> um, yeah, but anyway, so we're just gonna get ready and then head out, and uh, yeah, we're gonna go and put the dog on the on the deer. See what happens. The uh, uh, it's supposed to snow, maybe between seven and eight, which will be interesting, um, because that'll make tracking very hard. But you know, it is what it is. Yep. Ah, there we go. Stage lighting. It's um just past seven o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna go and see if we can find this deer, but. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty dark still, but we should be right, should be right. Unfortunately, it was way too dark to find drops of blood, so we decided to check out some of the close forest areas with the hopes that we might find a dead deer. So, a quick scan of the forest. Didn't find anything, I'm gonna head back to the last patch of blood. And I hope it's a little bit light enough now to start seeing uh, where it went. The problem is, is that everything's frozen, so it makes it real hard to see any blood. <laughs> it's all like white. Uh, yeah. Let's see what happens. So here is the last known piles of blood. There's, I mean, it doesn't look that much at all today, but you can see it in there. Uh, looks a bit darker than it was last night now and then there's actually some here as well um, again looks a lot uh, crappier today but this is the mystery is I mean I shot it oh, where's my finger so behind that tower over the back of those trees so it's probably run 150 meters or something like it ran down uh, the tree line and then we, um, Yona is coming up through here, straight to here and like it's a really good blood trail right to here and then it, uh, it just magically stops. So, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know where to go, what to do now. Um, like you would think logically it's kept running towards the forest but I mean I'm going to double check it again but I'm pretty sure it ran straight down here and so there's one there and then the second one here so it's done like a turn here anyway of some form um, but it just depends like it might have come down this little track here coming to here so i'm gonna go back to where urina is and find the blood through there it was like a really good trail through there again um and then yeah we'll just see if we can find it where it goes it's pretty disappointing i'm pretty gutted but uh they haven't quite given up yet so i managed to track it down through here so it definitely came this way and then there's blood on here and then I found some more blood on here, uh, so it's gone. It's gone this way anyway, up up through here somewhere. Um, so it's just going to be a matter of trying. Oh yeah, blood here, yeah. Yeah, here we go. It's got yeah. Here we go. Yeah, it's gone this way. So it's still dri it's still bleeding lots, but yeah, well, not lots, like but side, like the, two cleared ones. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so. Nori. Come on, Nori. You know you want to. Yeah, look, Nori, there's some here. Nori, here. Yeah. 
Nori. She does smell it, but it's yeah. Just... Nori, yeah, look. Look there, good. Good girl. Good girl. Let's Good girl. Here we go. Try to see which way the tracks are going. Like, she seems to be wanting to. Yeah, because like we did check this yesterday as well. Yeah. Like... Yeah, I mean, this is the first deer blood tracking I've had to do. I've seen some on the internet, obviously, that are. Uh, a lot more consistent than this, but it's it's still bleeding. So I just need to look real carefully on the other bits of grass here. I think. Whew. So we can follow it to here. Like there's a little little tiny bloody trail down there, and like just over there, um, I think had kind of where the ground's pushed down over there. That's where all the the bigger blots of bladder and it's run back down this way but the blood trails pretty much stopped now like again it's kind of it's not the best light but uh i was getting a pretty good eye for the blood there on on the, the grass and we can't see anything else now so maybe what i did is maybe it stopped over there for a little bit and that's why there's a lot of blood there but there's still like a lot like it's easy really super easy to follow up this path here uh, and then, you know, like I say, there was a couple of kind of good patches there. And then it runs this way, but the, you know, it has, there's definitely nowhere near as much blood coming this way, so. Not really sure what to make of it all and stuff. I mean, uh, Ewan is heading down with the dog to check that ditch there. That's the only place we haven't really looked. Um, so hard to tell from the video. I mean, obviously it was a bad shot, and I'm freaking gutted about that. Um, but, you know, it happens sometimes in hunting, sadly, and it doesn't make you feel any better, but it, it kind of does. And, um, I mean, I, like, yeah, I want to know what what was going wrong. You know, like, my shooting at 40 metres has been really good this year. On targets, obviously, I haven't shot any animals, so... I am not sure why it went so far to the right. Um, it seemed like not bad height, maybe a touch low, but um, yeah. Uh, I mean, we sat down and talked about it last night because I always like to analyse what could have done better and stuff, and I think there's a few things that I do better this time. Wait for it to go sideways. Like, I think, I think, like, I feel oddly pressured by time uh, this time around. Like, you know, I've only got uh, what, two proper full hunting days. Friday was obviously a bit of a write-off with the accuracy thing. Um, uh, and then, yeah, today is our last day. I want to know what happened, why I went wrong, uh, and so it doesn't happen again in the future, I guess. A, I should have waited for it to go side on. And, like, I could have stayed in the blind there for ages until it came up. Like, you know, this species is new to me. I don't know its behavior so well. Um, Yuna was saying that they're always, like, you know, they'll sit there for an hour and chew away. And uh, they are not they don't, like, come and graze and then just keep going past. So that was where the, the weird time pressure was in my head. Um, hey, you live and you learn. And like I said, I'm bringing you guys on along with me to learn and I, I said I wouldn't doctor anything up and um yeah pretty gutted but uh you know you can't let that get to you otherwise like next shot I'll be thinking about you know the previous one and stuff like that uh, early on no close enough early on early on early on anyway one of the the uh <clears throat> key features we just had we went back and had some breakfast um put some apples out um actually yeah let's rewind a little bit so the guys were nice enough to come and give us some apples so we're going to put them out at like 20 meters from our stand so we're gonna we came back had some breakfast because <clears throat> it's not too far away and then we're gonna go check out the candy store because a part of the well, this is like a feature of the town, right? Yeah. Is that make, is that make all the candy here? Or? No, it's like a place where like you have like stocks of candy. So okay. you have like massive amount of candy for a pretty cheap price. All right, let's go and see what it's like. I only put this candy scene in here, actually, because uh, I think it's important. 
I've done it with other things in my life too. When you get a bit frustrated or something goes wrong, like go and do something different, completely different. Reset your brain, you know, and you're almost bound to come back to uh, whatever you were doing previously with a better attitude. And uh, I think it's a good thing for whatever you do in life. And basically, this is what I'm doing here. Right. Round 539. Ish. Ish. Yeah, about that. Now we're going good. We're just going to head down to this blind now. Set up till the, uh, I guess, mid afternoon, something like that. And then yeah. head, head across to the field. So. Yep. Yeah, this is the blind. Same one from yesterday. We've come here and the guys are doing some forestry, so I'm not sure if it was hanging around. So the apples are kind of down there, and then these guys have just dropped some uh, carrots over here too. So, but, I mean, because they've just left, like we're probably in for a couple, at least a couple of hours, wait until something turns up. Um, could be less, uh, could be a lot more. Maybe nothing turns up, <laughs> but either way, uh, it's a nice spot here. This is the same place as in, uh, yesterday. And look, they've cut this tree down. So that was on, the, like I filmed, and I had all the uh, nice leaves falling out of it. They've banged that one over for sight lines, I guess. We sat for a few hours with no luck. Yona decided it was time to go make some lunch, but I decided it was time to go back and check the carrot pile one last time.
sit here a little bit longer. Like in my mind, I'm just like, gotta get them, they're gonna run away. But uh, I just saw two of them there. They haven't run very far, so they might even come back. So Welcome. That looks like some hair, potentially. Look at all the blood on the fins, bro. You got full yes, pass I, I know exactly. I'm just downplaying it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was like right like here. Yeah. yeah, right on the back of the lungs, so it should be good. It's still that was thirty meters and it's still firing a little bit right, so yeah, I think it's, it's good. No worries. Oh and it like slammed into the the log behind it and I was like Either I've completely missed, but I'm sure I hadn't, or I just got a full pass through, so that's good. Oh, it feels good. Hopefully we can find this one. <laughs> so we're uh, headed, we're heading back out now to try and find the deer. It's been an hour, um, so hopefully that's enough time. And let's go and see what sort of shot it was. I mean, I just looked at the arrow and it's got bubbles in it, so it's good. Bubbles are good. Bubbles are the best. Um, and doesn't smell like guts or anything, so uh, yeah. Hopefully it's right. It's not super dark blood or anything. So we shall see. We shall 
see. Stay tuned. Okay, so this is kind of the first lot of blood you can see here. It takes us a little while to find where the blood goes, but uh, once we find it, boy, do we find it. Both sides then. So, so there we go. So that we think. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dogs on the right side. Yeah, here we go. So we packed it up. Good girl. Good, good blood trail. Yeah. Good luck, Trout. It's uh... You got it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh. Hey. Behind, yeah. yeah. But good job, man. Oh, yeah. So uh, I stood a <laughs> good girl, no, I thought it was back of the. Uh... Yeah, it's the same thing. Like it pulls a bit to the right. Yeah, so. It might be with I, the skull. I need to redo that. Yeah. But I mean, look, it's blade out plenty, so it might have got that artery yeah, in the yeah, top no, there. I, I was like 100% sure because it was really like bleeding out clearly. Yeah. But like, it's like far back, so that's like a gut shot kind of. Oh, far Nani, out. Yeah, well, I'm man. sorry, dear, but obviously it died really fast. Like, uh, geez, it's gone. Nani, yeah, yeah. 100 meters or something. Yeah. So, crappy shot to the right again. Uh, it's a shame, there's, there's nowhere we can do, test the bow at all, eh? I'd have to see if I can make like a makeshift target, I guess. Yeah. But like, not really technically. But I mean, we can if we can make a target somehow, then yeah. Because it's consistently shooting to the right yeah, like yeah, that, and that right, was at clearly. thirty. That was at thirty meters. So, I mean, look at all the blood. I think it probably hit that artery, you yeah. know, that that goes down that we were looking yeah, at yesterday. Yeah, pretty much. So. And it's got a little bit of guts it's there. It's gonna go like up from here. Yeah. No need. Yeah. <sighs> Meat for the freezer. Right. Really. Um. Happy got the deer. I have the shop placement. It got the job done. Um, the thing too is I was shaking like a freaking leaf when I took the shot, but not that bad. Like, you know, when I'm talking about the pin shaking, it was like this. It wasn't <laughs> like this. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see what happens. Oh, yes. Oh, feels good. Yeah, no, no. Feels good. And Rogers. Sorry about the shop placement, but that's for you and your, your daughter. Um, so, yeah, your, your arrow that you sponsored has put meat on, on my family's table. So thank you very much. That's, uh, oh, I'm freaking over the moon. Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It wasn't a long pack out. But I had to do the Cameron Haynes thing and put it over my shoulder anyway. It wasn't that heavy, but uh, yeah, it felt good. It's part of the process, right? Doing the manual labor to get it down to the road. And uh, had to be done. So that's this video, um, the outro interview thingy I did was uh, absolute garbage and uh, I look super tired and super pooped in it so um, yeah enjoy this uh, nice little time lapse uh, clip of us uh, de-skinning the deer and uh, there will be one more episode which will be a little bit of a recap and uh, a couple of other bits of footage that uh, you haven't seen yet so yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you're enjoying it, please, please, please subscribe, like the video, share the video around. You're all hunters. You're all in different uh, hunting networks. Put our video out there. You'd be doing us an absolute, uh, yeah, amazing favor. Thank you very much for all the support, everyone. That's from myself, Flinter, and Darren. We love you so much. Cheers. And uh, just like that. So.